Hello, St. Peter's. Welcome back. It is almost time for back to school. And that's why we are back in the library. St. Peter's students, you are going to be back in school next week and I can't wait to see you. Neither can my friends. We are all here. We have Ralph, Magic Monkey, our Pig of Joy is here with her Jar of Joy behind her, and Daisy. We all came from our summer break and are ready to get back to work at school in our library. We have so many new books for you to see, and this year you get to come to the library and explore the books for yourself. I'm so excited. So in order to get ready for school, I thought we might have one more fun adventure before the school year begins. This is a get back to school adventure. Are you ready? You guys ready? Okay. Let's get ready for our story. Let's turn up our ears so we're ready to listen. Turn off our mouths so we don't make a sound. Mm -hmm. Put your hands quietly in your lap. Take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> and now we're ready for our story. This is a fun new book that I just got in the library this year. And it is called, If You Ever Want to Bring an Alligator to School, don't. That's a big title. Look at that mess. And our author is Elise Parsley. I hope you're not planning on bringing your alligator to school. All right, let's see how this goes. If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest, or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. <laughs> if you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. You tell her that it's okay and that you know all about alligators. The alligator will be quiet and good and he won't eat anyone. Cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you a funny picture your teacher will write your name on the board. So here's the funny picture. Someone jumping off and saying, oh no! There's her name, Magnolia. And now you'll have to do, now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch. You'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and to wait for show and tell. Then, during art, an airplane will fly across the room. Uh-oh, landed right in the teacher's head. This is because the alligator will be showing you origami. That's folding paper. Let's take a closer look. Whoa, look at how many things they folded. Does the teacher look very happy? No, she does not. Your teacher will draw a check by your name. And now you'll have to stay in from recess. Oh. You'll take away the paper and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. Uh-oh, is he gonna eat that boy? No, don't eat him. You'll give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum and beg him to not eat anyone for Pete's sake to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is that it, the alligator will smack and twirl the gum. And your teacher 
will notice. Oh boy, there is gum everywhere. She'll draw two more checks by your name and an underline. Oh no, that's the last straw. Now you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. Oh no. Well, during lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up everything but the crusts. Now the alligator ate her lunch. And he's drinking her little juice box. <clears throat> By now, of course, you'll wish you brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator. You will wish this alligator would just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and learn about hollow sticks and bird's nests and sparkly rocks. Then it'll be your turn. Ooh, she looks angry. You'll tell how alligators are super big. Look at the board. It says, wowee, 12 feet tall. And how alligators have over 74 super sharp teeth. Cool. And how alligators are super tough. It's a fact. They're strong and they're tough and they aren't scared of anything except other alligators and humans. Booga, 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 booga. Ha <laughs> ha, she scared the alligator. Wanna do that again? Booga, 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 booga. She scared him so much he's running home. Your teacher will be impressed and you might not even have to go to the principal's office for all of the mischief that day. But then again, you might have to because look at all these kids. This little boy almost got eaten. This boy has a paper airplane stuck in his ear. And these two little girls are stuck together with the gum that she gave the alligator. I guess he did cause a lot of trouble that day. Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. Their trouble. What a mess. Look at that. Playing the piano, he dumped paint everywhere. He's got toilet paper swinging around. He made a tutu out of the paper. He's painting everything and there's gum everywhere. Ha <laughs> He's scaring the little boy out of the locker. Rah. See? And wasn't that fun? I don't think you should bring an alligator for show and tell. But now is a good time to think about what you might want to bring to school if your teacher has show and tell for you. I know our kindergartners always have show and tell and our, our first graders have show and tell quite often as well. Hmm, we read about an alligator. We're not gonna bring one to school, but since we're getting ready for school, we're gonna learn our alphabet. We're gonna learn all about creatures like alligators, why not put them together? We're gonna make an alligator a alligator. Isn't that cool? A is for alligator. Would you like to make one? It's so fun and it's so easy. All you need, I'm using a green marker and a black marker and a piece of paper. Boop. I'm gonna put mine on a clipboard because I need to hold it up to show you what I'm doing. You can just leave yours on the table. 
So all you do to start is take your green marker and you're gonna draw the letter A, okay? As big as the paper, just really big. So you're gonna go all the way up and come back all the way down. And then you're gonna draw a line across the middle connecting the two lines, okay? But I don't think that's big enough. So on the inside, we're gonna do it again, just right next to that line. We're gonna go all, all the way up. It's okay if you go outside of it. We're just making it fatter. All the way down. And it's also helping us practice the letter A. And straight across the middle. Now I have some white gaps in there, see that? We'll color those in. But let's make it even fatter. Make another A. Go all the way up. All the way down and across the middle. Now, if you have any white gaps, you're just gonna go back and color it in. You could use a crayon for this if you want. If you have watercolors at home and you feel like painting, you could use your watercolors with your paintbrush. What do you think? Think that's big enough? Maybe one more? Let's do one more. Okay, go all the way up, all the way down, and a line across the middle. Fill in your white gaps. Straighten out your lines. Now we have a giant letter A. And what did we say A is for? Alligator. Alligators, we just learned, have 76 teeth or something like that. That's a lot of teeth. So now you're gonna turn your A on its side. So here's our A. You're gonna turn that alligator. Uh-oh, looks like he's gonna eat me. We have to add some teeth. So all you need to do for teeth you're gonna make the letter V, like this, down, up. See that? And you're gonna do that all the way down. It's like a zigzag, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now when I get to that line, I think I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna jump over it and then I'm gonna keep going. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way to the end. So now we have his top row of teeth. Okay, let's make the bottom row of teeth. Ready? This time, we're gonna go up, down, in a zigzag. Up, down, up, down, kind of like you're making an A, but you're not putting the bar across. When you get to this line, stop. Go over to the other side. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, till we get to the end. <gasps> Look at all those teeth. Now he needs some eyes. All the way over here, I'm gonna say this is the top of his head because this is where his mouth opens. So his eyes wouldn't be up here. That maybe would be where his nose is. So his eyes are gonna be way over here. So I'm just gonna draw a nice size circle. Bloop. And another nice size circle right next to it. My circles are even touching. Now in this picture, you can see how I made my eyeballs. Maybe I want him looking backwards. If I want him looking backwards, I'm gonna color his eyeballs toward the back edge of his eyes. So it'll look like he's looking behind him. You can make him have googly eyes. Maybe his eyes are looking forward, however you want. So now he's going like this. See if you can see behind him. So I have alligator looking front right at us, alligator looking backwards, both A's. We are ready for school. A is for alligator. Wouldn't that be neat if you made this and brought this to your teacher on the first day of school? I think she would love that. So if you make one, you can share it with us in the comments here on Facebook, or you could bring it to school and give it to your teacher for the first day of school. And you can tell her, A is for alligator. Yep. I think she'd be super impressed if you did that. All right, we still have to do something else. We need to spread our joy. Come on, Joy, you've been waiting for this. She had a little vacation and now she's ready to spread some more joy. We try to spread our joy every day, but we love when we get to pick something out of our joy jar. It makes it a little extra special. How are we gonna spread some joy today? <gasps> well, look at that. Tell someone you're special. 
Hmm. I bet you have a lot of choices. You might have a brother or sister or cousin, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your daycare person, your, your teacher. We have so many people that are so special to us. So today when you see them, tell them. Say, you know what, you're really special. Maybe you can tell them something that is makes them special. Like they make the best grilled cheese sandwiches or they're really good at riding their bike or they always give the best hugs. Think of something that makes them special. That will make them smile and it'll make you feel good too. Because when you spread your joy, your heart feels happy and so do others. So let's keep doing that. Okay, boys and girls, that's all I have today because the next time I see you, you're gonna be at school with me and we're gonna come to the library and have so much fun. I have had a great time having these summer adventures with you. Don't forget, if you finished your summer reading adventure log, turn that into your teacher when you come back to school and you'll get a special surprise from me. All right, and I wanna see those A's for alligators. Bring those to school. I would love to hang them up in the library. All right, boys and girls, have a wonderful final week of your summer vacation. Get ready for school because we are getting ready for you. We can't wait to see you. Until then, don't forget, keep spreading your joy.